Right beneath our feet, the Earth is soaking up energy from the sun, and it's been doing this for a long time. Near the surface, the ground warms and cools with the seasons, but lower down, it stays at a constant temperature. In Massachusetts, that's 55 degrees Fahrenheit year-round. This stored temperature is a source of renewable energy. It can be accessed to heat or cool a single building without using fossil fuels. But did you know we can also connect entire communities to that renewable source in the ground? How does it work? It starts with underground pipes in the streets, sort of like gas pipes, but filled only with water. The water absorbs the ground temperature of the earth and delivers it to buildings. Pipes connect buildings with different heating needs, so energy is never wasted. Instead, it's exchanged between buildings or stored in the ground until it's needed. Inside, a heat pump moves heat in or out according to the temperature you want. This system of pipes can connect like Lego blocks, gradually moving us all from gas to geo, giving us cleaner air, efficient heating and cooling, and a healthier planet. The idea for this networked geothermal system, run at a utility scale, originated at HEAT, a climate solutions nonprofit. When Zainab Magavi of HEAT found out how expensive it would be to install geothermal for her home, she asked, instead, could a utility provide geothermal energy for me and my neighbors for the same monthly energy bill as gas? Zainab worked with HEAT founder Audrey Shulman and the HEAT team to bring gas utilities, workers, climate advocates, legislators, regulators, and neighbors together to make this system a reality. Demonstration projects are now moving forward in Massachusetts and across the country. This technology can deliver affordable and reliable energy to our buildings. And unlike gas, it's locally sourced, safe, renewable, and can help get us to zero emissions. It's time to modernize our energy infrastructure to meet the needs of our future. The answer is right beneath our feet. Learn more at heet.org.